So, we have 1 times 2 times 3 on the top and on the bottom. They cancel out. And then we have 4 divided by 2, which is going to give us a 2, times 5, and that equals 10. And if you remember, up here, we had exactly... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten examples. Now, if you want to do this on a calculator, your calculator probably has a button that looks something like NCR or NCX. Usually it's going to be an N and then a C and then some other letter, usually an R or an X. If you're not sure what it is, then look up the model of your calculator in Google and just put choose function and then the model of your calculator. For example, you would Google choose function and let's say it's a TI30X. That's what you'd put into Google without the quotes. Okay, And how it would work, let's say this is the button your calculator has. 5 choose 2, you want to know what that is. You would put in a 5, then you'd push that NCR button, then you'd put in a 2, and then you'd hit equals, and it would give you a 10. So it saves you the trouble of all that work, but knowing the definition of the choose function and factorial is important so you know what number to expect. So if your finger slips, you push a wrong button, your intuition will kick in when you see that answer and you'll think, okay, something's off here. So for example, okay, let's say you take the bus 10 times. Each time, the probability of being on time is 0 0.7, and we'll define that as our lowercase p, that's our success, and failure, the probability of being late, will be, well, the rest of it, 1 minus p, which is 0 0.3. And we want to know, well, what's the probability of being late five times? Which means you're on time five times. Okay, so what is that? Well, that's the probability that x equals 5. That's your number of successes. Okay, so that's going to equal n choose x times the probability of success to the power of the number of successes times the probability of failure to the power of the number of failures. And remember, our number of trials is 10. Our probability of success is 0 0.7. Our probability of failure is 0 0.3. Our number of successes is 5. And our number of failures is 10 minus 5, which is also 5. Then we just plug that in. So it's 10, choose 5 times 0 0.7 to the power of 5 times 0 0.3 to the power of 5. And you can just plug that into a calculator. So 10 choose 5 is 252. 
0 0.7 to the power of 5 is approximately 0 0.17 if we stick to two decimal places and 0 0.3 to the power of 5 is okay we'll need more decimal places here 0 0.00243 we multiply that out and you get 0 0.104 again with these kind of hand calculations you could end up with some rounding error and that's okay so in this situation probability of taking the bus uh, probability of being on time when you take the bus is 0.7 probability of being late is 0.3 you take the bus 10 times what's the probability that you will be on time five times well that probability is 0 0.104 or approximately 10 percent 10.4 percent now let's say we asked what's the probability of being on time six times well that would just be 10 choose six times 0 0.7 to the power of 6, because that's our new number of successes, times 0 0.3, I'm just going to put uh, brackets here to make it easier to look at, times 0 0.3 to the power of 4. That's our new number of failures. So 10 to 6 is going to be Two hundred and ten. Times zero point seven to the power of six, which is zero point one one eight. Times zero point three to the power of four, which is zero point zero zero eight we'll stick to three decimal places this time and then what we get when we multiply all this out now if you're doing this at home I'm actually using more than three decimal places when I'm doing the calculation so you might get a slightly different answer you get zero point two oh one okay so the probability of being on time six times given 10 bus rides it's actually higher it's uh it's just over 20 percent which makes sense because the like, chances are you are going to be on time right 0 0.7 is the probability of being on time when you take the bus so the probability of succeeding six times you'd expect it to be higher than the probability of succeeding five times okay? now you can end up with some tricky situations for example what's the probability of being late at least once. Okay, so that's a tricky situation because if you're late at least once, well, that means that X can be that's the number of successes. Remember, it can't be 10, but it could be 9, or it could be 8, or it could be 7, and so on. It could also be 1, and it could also be 0, right? which means you're never on time. Now, again, each of these situations is mutually exclusive. You did the trial 10 times. Either you succeeded 9 times, or you succeeded 8 times, or you succeeded 7 times. So you could calculate all of these probabilities. The probability that x equals 9, plus the probability that x equals 8, plus, and so on, up to the probability that x equals 1, and the probability that x equals 0. By the way, 
fun fact, the zero factorial is equal to one. I won't get into it, but I'll just tell you that that's the case. So you could do all these calculations. That's a lot of calculations, but there's a shortcut. Probability of being late is equal to the probability of the probability of being late once is equal to the probability of not on time 10 times. It's the same thing. If you're late at least once, it means you were not on time 10 times. So you could just calculate this as 1 minus the probability of being on time every single time. Right? 1 minus the probability of an event is the probability of that event not happening. So all you have is 1 minus 10 choose 10 times the probability of success to the power of the number of successes times the probability of failure to the power of the number of failures, which is zero. Now, 10 choose 10, I'm going to tell you it's equal to 1. 0 0.7 to the power of 10, we'll calculate. But 0 0.3 to the power of 0, well, that's also equal to 1. Anything to the power of 0 is 1. So you have 0 0.7 to the power of 10, which gives you 0 0.28 approximately, uh, 0 0.028 that is. And that's it. That's your probability. Uh, sorry, 1 minus that. 1 minus that. Easy mistake to make, you know, let me just rewrite this. Equals 1 minus 1 times 0 0.7 to the power of 10 times 1 equals 1 minus 0 0.028. Okay, and that's going to give you 0 0.972. So, the probability that you are going to be late at least once is 0.972, pretty high, 97.2% is the probability that you'll be late at least once. And that's the binomial distribution.